you guys this furnace is not working apparently um, the thermostat is calling for heat so first I switch this off and I'm going to turn it back on and see what happens okay the inducer motor comes on This is what the inducer motor looks like. This is the first thing that's going to run once your thermostat calls for heat. The purpose of this motor is to expel the exhaust gases and push it out the PVC pipe that goes outside of your house. The other function of it is it brings in fresh air into the combustion chamber for ignition. This motor is going to run for about one minute before it turns on the gas valve and the glow plug and this is just testing to make sure that the the flue is not clogged and that the pressure switches are working properly i'm just waiting here until i hear the gas valve turn on and then we'll see if the fire boots up or not Valve. If you listen carefully, you can hear the gas valve turn on for a few seconds and then it turns right back off. This tells me either there's no gas coming out or the globe plug is bad. So it's time to take open the cover and see what's going on inside. If your inducer motor does not turn on, there are a few things that you can do to test. The first thing would be to jumper the red and the white terminals on the board to make sure that the thermostat is not the issue and that the furnace is definitely calling for heat. The next thing you're going to want to do is follow the wire that goes from the control board to the blower motor and unplug it. Get a multimeter and test the wire coming from the board to make sure it has 120 volts. If it does not have 120 volts, then it's probably the board itself, or more likely a relay on the board. If the board is putting out 120 volts, then you want to check the continuity on the capacitor, and then also the continuity on the inducer motor itself. Another thing you can do is get an external 120 volt source and connect it to the inducer motor itself. And that's, this will bypass the board, the capacitor, and everything else and see if the blower motor turns on. Here I'm smelling for gas. There was gas and the glow plug was not lighting up. So at this point I knew it was the glow plug that was the issue. Side note, igniter and glow plug are the same thing. I think it might be the igniter, which is that guy right there. The gas tries to come on for a second, and then it turns back off, and it tries it multiple times. That thing does not ignite it. That is the flame sensor over there. When you do this, make sure you bring a little stubby screwdriver or even a socket set. It would make it much easier than this screwdriver. Got it. That's it. Thing's broken. See that? I'll get it out here with a better view. So guys, the issue is the igniter. I don't know if you can see this very well get a flashlight on it that's broken see how it's broken right off so that was not igniting obviously so I got this universal man it's so dark down here this hot rod universal igniter that I'm gonna be putting into it the way I do that, this has the factory plug on it, so I need that. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to 
Okay. This is the new one. Strip this. this doesn't matter doesn't matter what end goes in what I'm sure they're twisted in there <clears throat> crimp that down <clears throat> crimp that down <clears throat> crimp that down <clears throat> give it a tug is it secure the next one. Nice and secure. And there you go. Got the factory end, new plug, old glow plug, broken. It's a good idea when you buy these um, furnaces right off the bat to take a picture of the original serial number, part number, I mean, and buy an extra one so you have a plug and play. I did not do that, but that's what you should do. Goal of the day. Don't lose this screw. be it. Turn the power back on and check it out. If you understand the cycle that the furnace runs through, then you will better understand how to troubleshoot it. So first the thermostat calls for heat, then the inducer motor will turn on and run for roughly one minute. Next the glow plugs will heat up, then the gas valve will open and the burners will ignite. The burners will run for a few seconds to warm up the heat exchange and allow the flame sensor to sense that there is combustion. Then the blower fan will turn on and push the warm air around the house. There are a few other things that can stop this cycle, but they are less common. Things such as faulty pressure switches, 
and condensate pump issues and condensate lines being clogged. Condensation issues are easy to troubleshoot, but the pressure switches are a little bit more difficult and require a special tool. That's it. Warm. Thanks for watching, and if you found anything useful in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye.